Hey everyone, welcome back. I hope everyone is doing well as usual. This is Jonas Karibe here, aka PT Gu, aka your big bro in music, back here with another video. And today I have a special treat for y'all. I'm gonna show you how to do a compas synth. This is gonna be my fourth video. And I have something attached with that, but I'll let you know soon. So keep it locked. Welcome back everyone. So as I said in the intro, today we're going to do the fourth synth on my channel here. If you haven't seen the other ones, I'm going to put a card here where you can see it and uh, you'll see all the other uh, synth tutorials that I put. Now um, if you heard in the uh, compas synth uh, ch exercise, you'll hear that the synth is is sort of like a unique sound and so uh, what I did was it basically was a sound that I extracted from a uh, Yamaha and uh, if you know the the Yamaha M06 model that's uh, I also did a video on that talking about it so I I heard a sound uh, from that keyboard that I really liked and I decided to extract it and put it into this keyboard and I did my own mixing to it so I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, the only thing is you're going to have to find a way to get that sound either through the Yamaha M06 itself, which is uh, the huge lead sound um, from their synth category in that Yamaha. If you can get that sound, um, I'll make a video separately showing you how to extract a sound from one keyboard into another. But in this tutorial, I'm just going to show you the way that I mix that sound. If you can get it close to what I have, um, then that'll be great. If not, then I'll show you, uh, like I said before, how to extract the sound from a keyboard. And I'll show you how to put it in here. And um, since I won't be showing you 100% uh, of the way that I did it because of that extraction, what I'm going to do is today, I'm going to show you how to actually do the solo itself as a sort of reimbursement I guess you can say so I usually don't show how to do my um, my playing tutorials or my I mean my um, solos but uh, I figure today is is a perfect opportunity for that so that's been that's my treat for y'all what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go into my single mode and patch list I'm gonna show you where I store my lead sound for the compa exercise and I have it as Yamaha patch because I like I said I, I took it from uh, my friend Yamaha so this is what it sounds like so um, the sound is coming from my uh, portable speaker so it is a little low but uh, you can hear it on the playback better so it's a very, I would say, like a hall kind of sound. It has a, a hall reverb in there, which I'm going to show you. It has a few other effects, so it sounds pretty, pretty clean. Um, so what we're going to do is let's go to Patch Edit, and then we're going to go to Pro Edit, and this is where I have all of my patches edited in this keyboard. So um, the category, I just put it as a hard lead. You can look on the screen here. I didn't really mess around with anything else. The patch level, just leave it at 127. That should be good. So next up, what I have is a multi-sample, which I'll show you in a separate video how to, how to record. So from that multi-sample, I, uh, I added uh, the wave numbers which is number two for the multi-sample and then just leave the FXM color at one so I didn't do much really the pitch bend range I like it at plus two and minus two um, 
that way it doesn't go too far, like too crazy with the um, range. Um, and then here's my pitch environment. Just pretty straightforward stuff. I just added uh, 40 to the environment time one, 80 to environment time two, and 40 to environment time three. And then of course, I added minus 30 and plus 30 for the pitch environment levels. Everything else is straightforward, as you can see here. So uh, for the tone output level, just leave it at 127. And um, I'm going to add effects separately, so you don't have to add any effects from, uh, from this layer. Yeah, LFO I didn't mess around with. So uh, remember the portamento, always try to put that on. I put the portamento time at eight and uh, everything else is straight. And then poly sound is really good. So you can, you can play chords together. Okay. So that's pretty much it for that. Now, the next thing is I added effects. So let me see if I can, if I can show you without the effects, what it sounds like. So this is what it sounds like without the effect. It's it's like um it's 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 like a you know a synth sound, like a pure synth, but with the effects it makes the difference. So this is what it sounds like with reverb. So that gives it the that hall kind of effect. Like you're in a big stage. And then this is with the delete delay without reverb. You hear that? Yeah. So with the delay and the reverb, it sounds really clean. Oh, and I actually, I, I guess I added an infinity phaser too. So this is what it sounds like without the infin infinity phaser. So you see that? With the infinity phaser, gives it a nice little uh, phase sound. I like that. Um, so in my next synth sounds, I'm not. I'm gonna try to not use the infinity phaser because I, I use that a couple of times because I really like it. But um, it's up at the end of the day. It's up to you. Um, so th this is the settings for my infinity phaser. Leave the mode at 4, speed positive 40, resonance 80, mix 127. I guess this, this is pretty much the, the factory setting. I didn't really change it much. And then um, with the delay, I didn't put too much delay to just not overpower it. So uh, settings, you can see here on the screen, I got it at 1.8T uh, for the left quarter notes uh, center, and then uh, quarter note T on the right and then uh, everything else is the same and then reverb I gotta put it on again reverb I got uh, hall 1 time 84 level 127 all right and uh, you can see the levels here I got at 127 uh, nothing too crazy and this is what it sounds like it's a clean sound. So uh, in this part, now the next part, I'm going to show you how to actually do the solo. So stay tuned. All right, welcome back. So here's the tutorial. I'm going to show you how to do the solo. The first thing is to know that I did this in the key of B flat, B flat major. Okay, so uh, what you do is I did uh, inverted B flat major chord so I start on uh, D B flat F C so do that two times and then you got to do a switch with your finger so if you know how to do regular uh, keyboard fingerings You'll understand, like, you know, how when you do Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Si, Do, you do. 
You see how I did the switch with my thumb? It's similar with um, the B flat major. So if you can do those switching, it'll be easy to, to do this. So I do, I do that twice. So I land on the E flat. So I do E flat, um, G, and then C, E flat, E flat. So, and you can use the pitch bend. You just flick it um, to the negative. See? See? You can see my thumb on the, the screen here. Yeah, see that? And then you go back to F major. You, it's like an F major. I do. So F, um, A, C, uh, A, F, A, F. And then I do... Um, G and then C E flat again two times so that's what it sounds like it's a bunch of repeating for the most part in the first half so I do sometimes you can use modulation too you can use the joystick to go up And then um, you do that again, so you do that two times. So, and then from there, when you when you stop at the E flat, next thing is you go to. So I do D F G. So D F G D D F G, and then E flat E flat. F G C. Do the double tap on the E flat, and then I do when, when I do the D F G, uh, uh, D F, and then D on an octave higher. B flat C. See that. You got to be able to travel with your hand. And then you do E flat. Okay. So you can do G, F, E flat right here if you want. And then I do E flat, F, G again. You see? So I do... The octave D, high D, B flat, B uh, D B flat again, and then so F. So I do pitch bend D, and then F. You can do modulation on the F too. Okay, and now this is the part where in the solo I kind of just um, do a groove here where uh, I do variations with the same chords pretty much. So. No, I do. So I do. Um, so the first two notes here do C and then A C A C um, and then and then low C two times E flat so do that so um, C So B flat, G, 
B flat. So just do that. Those two notes. And then C again. E flat. C. And then. So you can do uh, A and C here with the pitch bend. And then just keep going back to the C and the E flat. C. So let me let's start again. C. So A C A. A C A C and then just do B B flat and um, uh, G again and then here there's a little trick that I do where I do so how do I do that I just do an inverted B flat major chord but it's an arp it's arpeggiated so an arpeggio is like when you play a sequence of notes in sequence with each other so i start on the high d so d b flat f so you see so from the f i go to the d on the lower octave and then i go back to the b flat F, D, and then lower B flat, and then D again, and then F, lower F, and then B flat again. So all together, it's I know it's a lot of notes, but it it's basically just think of it as a B major chord inverted. So just go, see that. But you got to do it quickly. See that? So. And then go back to the um, E flat and C. And then. And then pitch bend on the A. To the um, C. And then back to the C and E flat. And then just stay on the B with the pitch bend. You can just do. Okay, so B flat. And then I do like a little, um, I guess you can say chromatic run. Where I go from F, F sharp, and then G, uh, G B flat. Oh, so from here and then I do the same thing from C C sharp D F and then just land on uh, F and B flat those those are the notes so let me see if I can play it all together in a sequence so And that's the tutorial. I, uh, I hope you all like this video. Um, thank you for bearing with me. Uh, I got some more stuff coming out for y'all. So stay tuned. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And thank you for all your support. I appreciate it. Have a good one.